So this is uh, the trapezius, the lowest fibers you can see. The upper fibers comes from uh, uh, the external occipital protuberance and the medial one third of the superior knuckle line that will be done during uh, head and neck dissection. Uh, while the lowest fibers uh, and the some middle fibers will come from uh, all the th uh, spines of the thoracic vertebra, T1 to T12. And also some fibers here, they, run, they, are, they are attached to the seven cervical uh, uh, spine as well uh, the ligamentum nacke. The upper fibers, usually they go to the medial margin of the acromion process and uh, the lateral one third of the clavicle, posterior aspect. And the middle fibers and the lower fibers, uh, approximately they go to the upper border of the uh, crest of the spine of the scapula over here. Uh, the trapezius is uh, actually supplied by a vessel called if you the trapezius has been cut here five centimeter away from the vertebral column and uh, the, fi the fibers are reflected here as you can see uh, we can see the two important structures underlying the trapezius which are running in the deep surface of the trapezius one uh, one after other this is uh, the superficial branch of uh, transverse cervical artery transverse cervical artery is a branch that comes from thyrocervical trunk it has two branches one is superficial and one is deep that we can see later so this is a superficial branch of transverse cervical artery on the top of it you can see a white fiber here this is spinal accessory now both will run under the side of uh, trapezius supplying the muscle they first supply the trapezius especially the spinal accessory now will first supply the sternocleidomastoid and then it will start supplying the trapezius so this is superficial branch of transverse cervical artery and this is the spinal accessory now let us see the deep branch of transverse cervical artery if we open the trapezius all along here uh, near the upper aspect of the scapula this is scapula you can see a muscle that is uh, moving up this muscle on either side can be seen i will show this side as well so this side it is pretty good this muscle i'm talking about this muscle this muscle is attached i mean it is inserted to the superior angle this is superior angle of the scapula we have three angles superior inferior and the lateral angle to the superior angle of the scapula this muscle is attached this muscle is actually called as levator scapulae this muscle when it contracts the scapula is elevated upwards making an action called a shrugging and uh, this in between the moment we open the trapezius we're going to see the two muscles here two twin muscles the minor muscle and major muscle they are called as rhomboid because they have a shape of rhomboid so rhomboid minor comes from uh, the seven cervical spine and the t1 t1 thoracic spine while the rhomboids major uh, i can show it here rhomboids major it comes from t2 thoracic spine to uh, fifth thoracic uh, up to fifth thoracic spine the fibers run horizontally and downwards to the medial border of the scapula inferior to the root of the spine this is spine of the scapula so this point is called as root of spine down to that one the fibers run and attach to the medial border up to the inferior angle now uh, if we expose the trapezius and if we uh, see the levator scapula here levator scapula is attached as i said on the top superior angle of the scapula so this is levator scapula and here, here you can see the rhomboids minor the rhomboids minor is here okay and uh, rhomboids in between the space see there is a space in between the rhomboids minor and the levator scapulae that space is occupied by this deep branch as i said this deep branch is the deep branch of uh, transverse cervical artery as we saw in the beginning the transverse cervical artery has two branches one is superficial branch which supplies the trapezius the other one is deep branch and this uh, deep branch is found in between the uh, levator scapulae and the rhomboids minor so the deep branch will supply the rhomboid group of muscles along with the along with this uh, uh, deep branch we got to find the we need to find an another nerve as well here that is right now it is out of its place this this now must be the dorsal scapular nerve it can't be shown in the video but along with the along with the dorsal scapular artery 
the dorsal scapular nerve will run there in between the levator scapula here, levator scapula here, and the rhombus minor. Both the dorsal scapular nerve and the uh, deep branch of transverse cervical artery will supply the rhombus minor and the rhombus minor. So that's it. See this again, the trapezius, this is the left fibers and the right fibers. As you can see, the right fibers are here and this is the medial uh, border of the scapula and this is, uh, let me insert my finger here to show you the latissimus dorsi. So this latissimus dorsi, the outer border of the trapezius and the medial border of the scapula, they make up a triangle here. This triangle is actually called as angle of auscultation. Angle of auscultation is uh, bounded uh, medially by the outer border of the trapezius, uh, laterally and superiorly by the medial border of the scapula, and inferiorly by the upper border of the latissimus dorsi. The importance of angle of auscultation is where exactly we are supposed to put the stethoscope and find the uh, basal sounds of the respiratory system. <coughs> in various uh, respiratory diseases, we can find abnormal sounds, especially in this area. This area is actually called as angle of auscultation on right side. While on the left side, uh, the same angle of auscultation we go, uh, in this in this area, the cardiac uh, orifice of the stomach will be present. So any disorders that are related to the uh, gastrointestinal tract like GERD or gastritis and other uh, abnormal peristaltic sounds can be also heard from here, uh, from this point. On the right side, you can exclusively, exclusively hear the respiratory sounds, respiratory abnormalities. On the left side, in the angle of auscultation, in addition with the respiratory disorders, you can also listen to various abnormal uh, and normal sounds of uh, the bubble. Okay, so this is called angle of auscultation.